Welcome back to North Dakota Today. Well, the community is ready to reel in a good time with Trout Fest coming to town today. And Tatiana is here to tell us more about it. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you for being here. So I think the question on everyone's mind is, what is Trout Fest? Yes, yeah, so Trout Fest is our annual um, fishing derby that we do in our North Woodhaven Pond in Fargo. So kids 15 and younger can fish in um, North Dakota without a fishing license. So we have kids come, we have bait for them, and they can just bring their fishing rods and have a hand at fishing. Well, that is so exciting. So what is the history behind this event? Um, you know, we've been doing this event for quite a few years now, and it's a really well-attended event. People mm -hmm. really like it. Again, fishing, I think, is something that I think about when I think of North Dakota. Yes. So it's well-attended. Kids love coming out and fishing, so it's just a lot of fun. Well, that is so exciting. What has the community response been? Um, again, it's been great. People mm -hmm. love coming to it. It's a really good opportunity for kids to try fishing, um, especially if they've never been able to. And it's local, so at least you stay within Fargo. You're not having to travel an hour or so to find a lake. So that's the best part about it is that it's local. Kids can come, and they really enjoy it. And the community around, even within Woodhaven, mm -hmm. they really love coming to it as well. Absolutely. So how big are the fish that they catch? Are there big ones in there? Um, there's, they're <laughs> mostly small. I mean, yeah. they kind of range. We've had some, I was trying to think, I think we had, you know, five inches to about 10 inches. They definitely okay. vary, but they're on the smaller side. They are just catch and release fish since they were just stocked, but they are, I mean, you get a couple of them that are pretty big. So we do record them and then um, whoever has the biggest fish, you actually get a medal for it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, how much fun. So this is just for 15 and under, like you said. Yep, yep. So 15 and under can come and fish without obviously a fishing license and then participate in the derby. So it goes from 5.30 is when our registration is. And then at six, we'll start the derby and then it will end at about seven, then we'll do prizes for everyone. And this is tonight, right? Yes, it is tonight. Wonderful. Well, and how fun that it's by the lake. It's going to be so hot today. I know. <laughs> it's going to be nice. It's going to be just a really good summer activity to really just kick off the summer. Yes. So what's your favorite thing about the event? Um, I like seeing all the different kids, you know, again, if it's their first time fishing, mm -hmm. they've never done this before. So then them catching the fish and really just getting excited and we also have FM walleyes there as well helping us so they okay. help um, identify the fish they kind of teach the kids about the different fishing skills you know as far as how to put the bait on your hook and fishing and then identifying the different fish as well. Wonderful and it's catch and release too so you're teaching them to be responsible as well. Correct exactly. Awesome so does Fargo Parks have any more fun events coming up? Um, yes, we do. We have uh, lots of events throughout our summer. So actually this Wednesday we have our kids triathlon in Madison Park. That's a really fun event. We have a local team that is called Team Boaz. They donate bikes um, and fix them up. So they come in to that event and help fix up bikes for kids as well. We also have multiple different movie nights throughout the summer. And we also have a new event series, which is our neighborhood event series. So that just goes to different um, neighborhoods within Fargo and highlights different sports that kids can participate in. Well, that is so exciting. Thank you so much for sharing that with yes. us, Tatiana. Yes, thank you. Of course. Coming up on today's show, we have Cooking with Cashway. That's after the break. <laughs> 